Let's get started. Okay, so now that you have an understanding of one point perspective and how to draw a box when you see the front plane as it moves above or below your horizon line, which is a synonym basically for your, hori your horizontal horizon line is a synonym for your eye level line and the box changes where you see three sides when it's to the side you see the bottom of the box when it's above the horizon line you see the top of the box but not the bottom as it goes below what happens if the box is at an angle and the closest thing to you is one of the front corners well then you need to know two-point perspective because the box recedes into space moves back into space and there's a vanishing point somewhere out over here on the horizon line and it recedes into space on this side too so as you try to draw these forms in space you also have to have an understanding of what happens if this part of the box is closest to you so you would start with a horizon line and then you need two vanishing points so hold your paper horizontally locate a vanishing point VP1 and VP2 on there and then I think it helps if they're really far apart and then you're gonna need your ruler you stole my big ruler <laughs> Then you're gonna need your ruler to put that front corner. So the first thing you draw instead of a box in this case is that front corner, because that's closest to you. And then you're gonna connect that to your vanishing point. And this really long ruler almost reaches up to my vanishing point, to my first vanishing point. And then you're going to connect that line to your other vanishing point. I'm going to move mine over for the sake of this making sense for you guys so I can reach with my ruler. And then you have to remember, so top and bottom, top and bottom. Then you have to remember about your parallel line. So you're going to put in the side of this box, whether you want it to be narrow or very, very deep, but you're going to line up your ruler and slide it back. Here I'll just make sort of a regular type cube. And same thing here, you're going to slide it over and make a regular type cube. Now this is the tricky part, it's not that tricky, but I say crisscross applesauce. You take this right top corner. And just a little trick. Oh, my ruler almost reaches to my vanishing point. Then you cross over to that vanishing point. And on this side, you crisscross applesauce top left to your right vanishing point. So you line it up carefully. I've almost got it. And you crisscross applesauce going off to that vanishing point. And where those cross in the back automatically works out to be the back corner of your box. And it's that simple. So see if you can repeat and try around your page some below and above the horizon or eye level line. And you can color them in with consistency, um, picking a color per plane. 